Council meetings are long and boring. Wouldn't it be great if they were short and unboring? This is why I have invented the five minute meeting. <laughs> okay, uh, Ashland City Council meeting of May 23rd. It's a special meeting. It's a super special budget meeting. It is a special budget meeting with some extra stuff. And it is a two-parter to right now, May 23rd. Part one of two. This one starts with, she goes, hey, let's stick to the uh, timeline and be respectful because we have a lot to do in two days. And then we started with the public forum and uh, the chair of the Social Equity and Racial Justice Commission said uh, she's concerned that the public input to a meeting like this in the middle of the day is tough for the working poor to participate in, true. And uh, we get that uh, a full-time equity, inclusion, and diversity employee is expensive. They, they pitched that idea. But you guys wouldn't even pay $600 for a Juneteenth banner? Come on, council needs to do more. And then the uh, Zoom lady uh, was on the Zoom and she had her dog on the floor and she said uh, this survey that was delayed was a mess anyway. And then uh, this one goes, hey, cut, cut, no, no. Uh, no talking about the survey. That uh, You can only talk about the survey later on. And then the Zoom lady goes, well, uh, general budgety wise, I guess, I, I don't think cuts necessarily mean uh, less services. And then uh, the consent agenda, oh, that's all approved, whatever that was. And uh, then the uh, public uh, hearing, uh, approval to receive state funds, um, Wait, wait, uh, revenue sharing from state uh, cigarette taxes and gas and liquor taxes, etc. It's a formality that has to happen every year, and that was all approved. And then uh, an annual declaration that Ashland will take all of its property taxes from the county that they collect. And of course, that was. And then this one was, hey, by the FII, uh, all your property taxes uh, is. Uh, this is just the city part. Uh, some property taxes go to the county and some to the schools. Just FYI, uh, and that was all approved. And then uh, creating a, uh, a new fund for hotel taxes. They used to go 100% into the general fund. Uh, with a note saying, don't touch uh, 30% of this. And this new fund gets that 30% right away and is only for tourists fund, the Travel Ashland and OSF Act. And, so, and also, SDC charges on all utilities. That money is restricted to new utility projects but gets put in the general fund. So the SDC fund separates that. And so the, the finance lady made these special funds. And this one said, I, I moved to create these, uh, these funds and uh, she goes, oh, this is just bookkeeping. And that's all true. And then all approved. And then uh, unfinished business, the uh, community budget survey, uh, public forum. So the, uh, uh, the parks commissioner showed up public forum and said, uh, this uh, survey had a lot of parks questions and no one consulted parks. And uh, it's frustratingly underwhelming survey. And then a video uh, lady showed up and said, uh, Vimeo. And then she said, uh, uh, we, wow, there's no going... Uh, Oh, shoot, I forgot what she said. Uh, what Parks guy said. And uh, cutting employees is never mentioned, and uh, this was a waste of money. And then a lady with glasses on her head said, uh, when this survey was approved, it was supposed to have a website link and uh, uh, that had backup for citizens to read, and that never happened. And lots of my neighbors had critiques. And uh, the city manager said, this survey uh, uh, was a uh, sensitivity analysis. And the SOU survey makers were there, and they said, uh, yeah, well, we had a web page ready to go and a cover letter that went with this. Yeah, but without the, the survey was leaked uh, without all that stuff, so it looked bad. This survey was intended to give information about citizens' priorities to counselors. And another survey guy said uh, contingent valuation and academic rigor, uh, best practices were used. So uh, what don't you get about that? And then uh, the first uh, SOU uh, survey lady said, hey, yo, you, can have, uh, you can only have so many questions on a two-page survey. And the city manager said, uh, regarding questions about compensation, uh, they're always biased. It's too easy to just say cut wages because uh, the consequences aren't obvious. And then uh, when the first SOU uh, survey lady said, uh oh, she said cutting services definitely means cutting personnel. That's a given. Everyone knows that. Mm. And uh, does it say that anywhere in the survey? No. Uh, I didn't see the survey. I don't think so. And then uh, the second uh, survey lady said uh, the scary questions are fine because uh, when people vote no on the scary questions, we know they're scary. And then tabulating the answers will provide great information. And we were told that police and fire are important. So, uh, I mean, we just uh, added five to each. And that didn't seem like very much. <laughs> Terrible. And then uh, uh, this one said, uh, hey, uh, this is, hey, uh, didn't the leak of the survey... Uh, Look at the survey. Ruin the survey, and uh, the first uh, survey SLU lady said, "Well, well, we're uh, no, we're going to be fine. We just got to get it done quickly." And this one goes. Uh, she goes, "Hey, where did these questions come from?" And the first lady said, "Oh, that guy of ours, Dan. He's super smart, and he spearheaded that." And uh, this one said, "Hey, where did the dollar amounts come from on that uh, survey?" 
And the survey guy said, oh, we talked to the uh, city the staff and finance. And uh, this one says, this one says, hey, hey, I, I still don't like that survey. Uh, there should be staff cutting options on there. And uh, this guy goes, I move we, uh, uh, this, uh, we move this survey, go forward quickly. And, uh, and this one says, we can't kick the can down the road uh, leaking this survey by somebody on the council was a problem. And this one said, uh, uh, the leak was mean and we all need to work together. And uh, this one says, I, I voted to delay uh, this uh, so we could have this deeper discussion. So thanks for this presentation, uh, survey people. And uh, a vote was four to two. Two, uh, there's the two against, two against, four, four. Uh, the survey goes forward with some minor changes. And then the strategic uh, choices budget presentation. This is the main thing, right? Uh, public forum, a lady with glasses who no longer on her head. She said, uh, my husband doesn't like purrs and uh, employees should all pay their own purrs. And the city manager says, thanks to a bunch of people who helped me with the presentation. The 2022-23 budget is projected to be $1 million in the red. And uh, uh, plus food and beverage tax, uh, the $2 million of that was mistakenly budgeted to the general fund, but it can only go to parks and rec. So uh, now the uh, budget is actually $3 million in the red. Uh, and uh, city manager froze hiring and travel and asked for 5% cuts to every department, but wasn't, wasn't necessarily going to take those 5%. He just wanted to ask for those. And then the city manager froze hiring. Oh, wait, he already did that. And then uh, uh, with the 2016 ordinance language, the city manager thinks that the food and beverage tax can only go to the park's CIP projects, which means property acquisition repairs only. And uh, this one says, uh, she goes, hey, hey, can't we just legally parse the words consistent with to mean we can use that $2 million for a bunch of other stuff? And the parks commissioner shows up and he goes, uh, hey, the city manager's non-legal opinion is wrong and we should use that money for whatever we want to. Uh, and uh, otherwise, we'd have to cut the senior center and uh, the nature center. I'm not threatening, I'm just saying <laughs> twice. And then this one goes, hey, isn't there a magical third person who can give us a perfect tiebreaker opinion who agrees with me? And the city manager says, we can get a lot of opinions, but let's move on. Uh, first, an act cycle. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, the city manager's visions and valuations and values and organizations were, he basically said, Ashland's awesome. I mean, that's my summary of what he said. And then uh, counselors uh, filled out a bunch of forms that gave to the city manager with some, I don't know, it was, it was like a weird school presentation and note taking uh it was it was odd it was an odd uh moment and then uh where are we now oh uh so the city manager talked about risk uh fire climate change blah 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 and then he made a new point it's a new thing uh, i'd never heard he said most of our workers live outside of ashland so payday means money leaves town that's an interesting new point i thought and then uh, also our emergency operating center eoc is useless he says if a real emergency happened, the EOC won't be set up in time uh, to be useful. Uh, we have a high turnover in the city staff, and uh, anything that affects tourism really hits our economy hard. And then uh, uh, the city guy says, uh, uh, Ashland is growing at 187 people per year. And then the city manager said, uh, uh, SOU enrollment is projected to drop. Population is aging. Households are one to two people only per house and only one fifth of the homes have children and a lot and he put up a lot of charts about buildable land and he believes that the areas around downtown sou and the new Croman mill uh, area would benefit from the most attention and the city needs to incentivize private developers to make what we want and then uh, this one says uh she goes uh, she goes hey uh, that should be a separate discussion oh no no she says we need to streamline codes can the planning department guy come back next week to talk more about that? And then the city manager said, oh, no, that's a separate discussion from this budget thing right here. And uh, this one says, uh, planning needs to have a better customer service. And that was the end of this meeting, part one over. You're welcome.